And Rachel, did this come as a surprise to investors? It's, it's not the first of these kinds of deals we've seen. Yeah, I think the idea was always that Blackstone would come in at some point and take out the rest of the units that it didn't already own, since it did take that controlling stake of uh, the general partner earlier this year. But the timing seemed to have gotten some investors by surprise. Two of uh, Tallgrass's main pipelines are up for recontracting coming up soon. And so I think the idea um, for some was that Blackstone would wait, kind of see how that goes, and then decide whether or not to uh, pull the trigger on a take private. Right, and they're offering a 36% premium as well, 1950 for all outstanding Class A shares. How is that viewed by the community? Um, I think it's a little bit of a toss-up right now just because the units have fallen 40% since the deal closed in March. But um, some of these other deals, especially involving MLPs, have gotten uh, quite a bit of backlash. And I don't think that this one is necessarily going to garner that level of criticism. We have seen some mixed results in terms of companies, you know, with their take privates and, and, and so on. Why are these particular assets going to be of benefit to Blackstone? Well, I think that the criticism that you see in some of these other deals primarily have to do with the structure of the companies. Since they are MLPs, uh, a lot of the backlash comes for how much of the GP's um, interests are uh, aligned with the unit holders. Um, and so that's where you got you know, some, some anger from investors in the case of American Midstream, um, in the case of TK Offshore, which is a shipping company. Uh, but in this case, it does seem like Blackstone Blackstone, excuse me, made this decision uh, without doing something like cutting the distribution. So I, I don't think that you're going to see that much criticism. Now, the offers for these other firms that you mentioned, they're structured as MLP deals. They, they came after the bidders took control of the general partner. How does that differ from this case? Uh, it is the same case. I, I just don't think that you're going to see necessarily the backlash that would come from them doing something dramatic, like cutting the distribution, which would obviously tank the units and then offer them a cheaper uh, buyout rate. But but certainly you will see um, some mixed reaction, just as you always do with Tate private deals. They tend to be more controversial. Um, but so far, shares are up uh, for a number of other pipeline companies. So the read through seems to be that you could see more of these deals, especially for someone like an InLink, where you have have a GIP with such a big stake.